What is going on, button pushers? If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. If you guys are coming back, welcome back. Amazing to see you again. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. A quick 15 second ramble. I've shot so many videos in the past few days. I shot five videos in the past few days and edited seven. So I'm super tired, but here we are editing and shooting another video. Anyways guys, today we are talking about the small rig wireless remote tripod bing. And it's pretty cool for, you know, whoever it curates to, uh, vloggers, uh, people who kind of need to film themselves a lot. And honestly, I tested it out for a little bit. And it's, it's not necessarily for me because I'm not a vlogger, but for vloggers, it is an amazing tool and I'll tell you why. So let's start off with the basic function. What exactly is this little small rig tool? So pretty much it is a handheld tripod thing for vloggers and it's pretty cool. It has a detachable remote here and it connects through Bluetooth to your camera. Now it's only compatible with a select few but for all of the Sony and Canon vlogging cameras like the M50, G7X Mark II, the A7S series, the A7 series, it all works the ZV series even so if you guys are already vlogging and you just wanted to find something a little bit easier as far as um you know having a handheld tripod it probably connects pretty well but in case it doesn't here is a list of all the compatible cameras now when I got this from small rig um, I wasn't really too into it like I didn't really care for it you know there was no use for me because I'm not a vlogger but looking deeper into it I see it as a bit more useful than I had thought it was initially. I think what makes it a little bit different is that you do have this detachable remote, which means that you can place it down on the table, walk away, and record yourself. Um, when I was doing this, I did not have a flippy out screen. My R5 was being rented, so I didn't have the R5 when I was shooting all this B-roll, and I couldn't see myself on the screen because we were shooting an A7 III, and you know how A7 III is. We, you guys don't have the articulating screen. You guys have the flip up screen, but you know, honestly, that's okay. I still get my point across. We can leave it on the table, walk away, and film ourselves from a distance. We don't need to bring like a super big tripod and complicate things. It's just super simple. Put it down on a table and walk over, and you can record yourself. Or even if you're like a mukbanger and a foodie vlogger, you can set it down on the table while you're eating and record yourself and do all that good stuff. Also, something that I didn't even know until like a few days before recording all this B-roll is that I can actually take this and extend it into like a selfie stick. That's pretty sick and I didn't even realize that you could do that until I saw someone else do it on Instagram and I was like, wait a minute, I have that. I didn't know you could do that. The remote controller has a USB-C slot on it that is for charging so in case it ever runs out of battery, it's super simple to charge. You can use your laptop charger if you have a Mac. You can use, you know, USB-C is pretty normal nowadays to be honest. So In practical use, it was pretty solid. I do have to say that when this arm is extended out, if you do have a heavy lens or a heavy camera, it does a little bit of like wiggling and wobbling so you really have to be careful with that because yes it can hold you know good amount of lightweight cameras but at the same time I would definitely be careful if you're on the heavier side because you wouldn't want this little arm to break and just kind of like snap your camera down in half but um, yeah if, if that's the case try to keep it small try to keep it compact or else you could get a lot of wobble and you could drop your camera but other than that really solid use so on the controller, you have a lot of options actually. So you can take a photo, you can record video, but you can also zoom in and out depending if your lens has the servo zoom. So the lens we were using did have it and it was pretty fun. Um, again, it was really hard to tell if I was zooming or not because I didn't have the articulating screen and I couldn't see anything I was doing. So the footage you're about to see is very poor, but it does a zoom and since we were using a cropped frame lens as you might have been able to tell even though we were shooting the a7 III I had to use crop mode because it was a crop frame lens and being able to extend the stick out made it a lot more easier for me to make sure that I was in frame even when I couldn't see so that's a plus and I'm gonna give it to them just because I I had that issue. <laughs> yeah, there's so many ways to use this. You can uh, tilt the camera re to reposition. You can spin the camera in a 360. Uh, 
you can extend the arm out and you can turn it into a tripod so there's so many different ways that you can use this and you know utilize the tool for what it can do so if you guys are looking for a solution for a handheld tripod for your vlog so you can get something a little bit more easy so you can record yourself so you don't have to hold the heavy camera and buy the lens and just have it shaky and shaky and this is a really good tool if you guys are interested in it check out the link in the bio check out the link in the description why am i saying what is this instagram check out the link in the description guys um anyways that's gonna be all for today's video let me know in the comments below what you guys think is this something that you guys would be interested in picking up if you are a vlogger do you just hold it by the barrel are you interested in grabbing something like this let me know in the comments make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you liked it keep pushing buttons guys and have a nice day I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying peace at the end of a video and I was really just about to say it